Welcome to Hanson Holt. This train is about to depart. Hello everyone and welcome to Hanson Holt. In today's video we're going to be talking about our top 10 eBay bargains of 2020 and 2021. Okay guys, so in no particular order we're going to reveal our top 10 eBay bargains of 2020 and 2021. And the first one we're going to look at, which is number 10, oops, no, wrong side job, is this Lima EWS Class 67 and two Hornby GUVs, which you can see here, and that is going to take over now. Yep, okay, so um, EWS Class 67 from Lima, it's a really nice loco, um, it's all wheel drive, so it has a motor in the middle of the body with drive shafts to each of the bogies um, they normally sell for about 50 pounds upwards um, I can't remember how but we picked this one up for 36 pounds on eBay so really pleased with that um, also you know, if could... you just cut the power immediately it will kind of just a bit more gradually yeah, stop that's right it will just drift to a stop it's a really nice runner it will crawl nicely um, the details okay the decoration is really good um, yeah it's one of our best runners um, and I think it has lights as well it does have lights, yes. Not directional, just, just normal lights, but for £36, really pleased with that. Mm. Okay, should we go on to our next one, which is just behind? Let's yep. roll forwards a little bit. Yep. Oh. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, wrong track. There we go. So again, no particular order, but our next one is... Hornby GUVs. Yep, yeah, so we've got a pair of Hornby GUVs and um, try and get a little bit closer just so you can see. These really are absolutely box fresh mint condition. Um, quite a popular model, quite in demand. Yeah. Uh, not currently in the Hornby catalogue. Uh, don't come up all that often on eBay. We picked these up for £25 for the pair. Um, again, I'll, I'll share some pictures um, throughout the video of the actual eBay purchases where we bought them on eBay. Not everything we got here is on eBay. Um, but £25 for a pair, £12.50 each. Um, good price. It just goes to show that if you shop around and you're patient and you use the right search terms and you look in all the categories because sometimes people list things in the wrong category or they spell things wrong in the title or they just give things a different name you can still pick up some bargains if you're prepared to spend a fair bit of time looking on eBay um, and looking out for the kind of things that you like. So the next one on this list is actually already a video on my channel that I did about a year ago. And these are these Hornby TTAs. Now these are just great. So as you can see, this is the sort of livery you'd expect to be in. They had uh, yellow ones that were shelled. In fact, I think I had one of them somewhere. I had the body off it. But they had, they had some of those. They had um, also, as I explained in my MTA project video, the, um, the same chassis used on the MTA as well. But these wagons are amazing. As you can see, you know, you've got Texaco, BP, some other companies. And we decided to repaint ours into different liveries. Some of them have been graffitied up, you know, just kind of, you can kind of really run yep. wild. You know, we saw multiple videos and some of them are super clean. Some of them are absolutely filthy. Some of them are literally look like they were made yesterday. Yeah. So again, what we did, um, we've bought these from a variety of sources. I think the first two we got were from the um, Northampton and Lamport Railway. Mm. They've got a really good model railway in the signal box around the back, uh, which is easy to miss, but well worth a look. I really think nice. It's showing. Yeah. Um, and they sell off some old rolling stock. So we got a couple of TTAs in there for £2 each, and that really started the ball rolling with our TTA project. And we saw a couple of videos on YouTube of people that have painted them up, found some decals from, I think they were Railtech. Um, and so we've got, I think, eight of them now repainted, eight or nine repainted. I don't know. Um, so they've got the Railtech TTA decals, um, some graffiti decals. Again, some of them like this one are quite clean. Some of them like this one are quite dirty. Sprayed them in about two or three different shades of grey. Got some rust effects on there. Most of them have now got Dapol um, all metal wheels, which allows them to run better and gives them a bit of extra weight. Um, oops. <laughs> well, normally allows them to run better. Um, so that's that's the TTA project. I think the cheapest TTA we bought on eBay 
was one pound. Um, others I've paid, um, it depends, you sort of buy, try and buy them in twos or threes um, to make the postage a bit more um, palatable. But yeah, one pound was the cheapest one. I'll share a picture of that one online. And now we have this one. Now this one is a Virgin Mark III DVT. And this one has a very, very interesting history. Well, sort of interesting. Um, so, I'm not sure how old it is. It's got to be decently new because it's in the 1997 livery, so it can't be too old. But, well, I guess it's quite old. But, um, this DVT was converted so it said Scott Rail on it. There was no Virgin, the lines were still there, and it had Scott Rail on it. And the varnish was not very good varnish, it had turned yellow, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, so it what, what someone had done is they'd taken a Hornby Virgin Mark III DVT, they'd scratched off the Virgin um, logos, and they'd put some Scott Rail decals on, and then brush painted, um, looked like enamel varnish, so it had brush marks over it, um, the varnish had yellowed quite badly. So we stripped it down, um, we put it in a bag with some, I think it's fairy power spray we generally use for, uh, for removing. And that was really good because it removed the varnish, just all came off nicely, but it left behind the original printing. So what we were left with was a plain um, liveried DVT without the Virgin logo and it did have some scratch marks. We then bought some Virgin DVT decals from Fox Transfers. Um, we applied those. Uh, there's a couple of areas where I had to touch up the these white lines here, so I just masked and painted those myself. Um, and we ended up with a nice Virgin Mark III DVT to run with our Mark III's and Class 90. And the price we paid for that DVT was £8 on eBay. Um, I can't remember how much the Fox transfers were, probably another sort of four or five pounds, something like that. But overall, um, a great bargain for Hanson Holt. Next one up, which I do believe to be number seven, is a bit of a noisy one. Here he comes. And this is our FX class 31. It's 31401. This was a inter this is the Airfix Intercity Train set. Now there is two Aircon Mark twos and a Class 31 obviously. And it is an absolutely amazing train set. Now we actually have two of these class 31s because we repainted one of them into a network rail livery. So I'm gonna Show you that here. We repainted this one into an network rail livery. These locomotives were used by network rail in the early 2000s, I do believe. Yep, so um, the Mark II aircon coaches are still popular. I think they're still around. Uh, they've been through uh, Hornby, Dapol, I think have released them as well. Nice models, nice decoration, good level of detail. I quite like the brown under frames because they do look like they're kind of tiny bit weathered um, they normally go anywhere between about 12 and 20 pounds for a coach the loco again 20 pounds upwards this one's a nice clean example it was actually advertised on ebay as airfix intercity train set so it wasn't described as class 31 it wasn't described as mark ii coach um, and i think that made it a bit less appealing because people are less likely to search for Airfix Intercity train set, and the price we paid was £25. So, pretty good for a loco with two coaches that runs nicely. It's a bit noisy, but it runs nicely and it looks it great sounds on the layout. Like the real thing. Yeah, it really does. You definitely don't need a sound module for this one, like I did a review on if you want no, to see that video. It's a ridiculously loud loco, but brilliant fun. Yep. Okay, so on the subject of Airfix Mark IIs, here is our DBSO project. So this started life as an Airfix uh, Mark II brake coach, which, looking at my list, we paid eight pounds for on eBay. Didn't need Billy bargain. Sorry. Definitely a Billy bargain. It was a Billy bargain. Um, didn't need it to be a really tidy example because we knew we were going to repaint it. Um, so yeah, eight pounds for that. The um, 
a photo etch set and again I'll share a link to the video where you can get the details of that um, was from PH Designs highly recommended that was £15 which obviously starts to lift this out of bargain territory the decals were on a sheet of network rail decals from uh, Railtech along with um, quite a few coaches and some class 31 locos so um, really good project really enjoyed it um, check out the other video if you're interested in how to make one of these also just a quick thing we're making a, another coach to go with this one aren't we yes that I've got another really I've got another too. Airfix Mark II um, to which I'll put the windows in so look out for that that will be a video coming up in the new year this is I've lost track of the numbers what's this one I can't remember <laughs> six or seven six or seven um, this is our Lima class 20 this so okay so original story we brought this at the road village model rail exhibition highly recommend you check out that video some good local layouts there um this one had been used for some kind of description of marker pen or permanent marker for the ends and it looks absolutely terrible um so you know i kind of weathered it out with a marker pen as well when it's dirty, but we decided to mask it off repaint the ends and give it some good weathering to see some of that it's really really nice detailed so get a decently good runner um a bit of technical trouble this is our fourth take on trying to shoot this one loco but um yeah so nice loco very proud of it it's yeah nice as josh said it's a nice runner lima class 20s um they tend to be quite expensive on ebay it's a quite heavy loco i think um i can't, I can't remember actually i can't without taking the body shell off whether that's um has um i think one one bogey does the pickup and the other bogey does the driving um so it's quite a good runner it's very heavy loco uh, as josh said it was weathered with a marker pen when we got it so we we're able to mask off and respray the ends in yellow um and then just did uh, got the airbrush did some kind of modulation on the panels with um just some kind of dust colors just to make it look a bit dusty and grubby and then some black around the exhaust and kind of around the edges of the loco and the ends just to make it look a bit weathered so i think that one it was up for £25, and I know we didn't pay £25 for it. I can't remember exactly how much it I was. I paid about £20 for it. I think so, because I think we got it with a little model bus as well. Um, I can't remember if it was this this exact one, but something... I think it was it might one. have been that one. Something like that. I think we got them both for £25. So, yeah, probably about £20 to £22 for that one. So, good a good buy. And this is our... T-E-A. Now these are about, I think they're 101, 100 ton um, fuel wagons. If you go up to like Wales, you will very often see class 60s pulling these trains. This one is in Merco livery. Now we're not going to repaint this one, but we have two others and Daddy's yeah. trying to find another yeah. one. Because yeah. um, we have the decals for them, which came with our MTA project, which is another video. Um... So these have been in the Hornby um, Tryon catalogue for years, and you can get old ones. Um, they, they're going up in price, like everything is, I suppose, in modern railways. They're quite expensive now, but they do change hands on eBay for about sort of £12 each. I think, looking back, the cheapest we got ours was for £12. This one was a bit more. We actually got it in an antique shop, um, kind of antique slash vintage shop, where they had quite a lot of stuff like this. Um, I can't remember how much we paid for it. It was less than 20 which is a good price. Um, I think it was about £18. Yeah, the Backman model now is about £50 new. Um, uh, Hornby, Hornby still have this in their catalogue, and they have one that's like weathered up with loads of graffiti. Yeah, that's £30, which is a pretty good price. It's quite nicely detailed. Quite expensive, though. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take the old plain grey ones, which we can't show you because we can't find them at the moment, but they are here somewhere, <laughs> and we're going to use these um, Railtech decals. Um, so just strip them down, APAs. spray them, apply the decals, varnish, weather, and hopefully we'll have a nice rake of three plus this one modern um, tank wagons for running on the layout for relatively little money, certainly a lot less than the... 400 pounds, uh, not 400, 200 pounds it would cost us to get four Backman ones. So, next up, uh, the wall of these shops is our Backman car transporters. Now, this one, this, this set, they come as a set with two cars and 
No, the, the, the two wagons, yep. and you can find mini cars, mm-hmm. new style minis from Backman on eBay for a good price as well. We paid about fifty pounds. Yeah, fifty pounds for these. Um, we did, two yeah. Two wagons. Now we also have another set back there. Um, so they come in sets of two, and they have they are inseparable. Or mm-hmm. once you connect the coupling, it's hard to get off yeah. because they always run in pairs. That's right. Um, often operated with class ninety twos or class eighty eights. Now the train that runs on the L network is operated by class yeah. eighty eight from DRS or yeah, direct rail services. Uh, was it Dagenham Dock reception to Garston Car Terminal? And if you were up in the morning, I think about yeah. eleven twelve, the it will come through full of cars and it will come back empty. Yeah back to the docks yeah so uh, as josh said we got these in a model shop in lower stock called pars where they still had some in stock i think it's because they don't have a website um it's right on the east coast of uh, suffolk um so we were lucky because we found them i think they're sold out pretty much everywhere now but this particular set isn't the bargain the particular set that's the bargain is on the shelf behind josh which um we we well they're, they're the same so we can't no point in showing you these um but they were available on ebay looking at my list for how much did i pay i managed to get them to 25 pounds um and i don't know how the set that we got cheap is missing one of part of the upper decks so that's removable and it <laughs> it has been removed um but i think for 25 pounds we can live with that they are fantastically detailed really really nice they go great with the class 92 or any other modern locomotive um yeah absolute bargain um really really nice looks good on any layout so next up is our gauge master model df uh double track controller though now these often go for like 120 pounds or a lot of money they usually go for about 80 quid Something if you're lucky. Like that, yeah. They're really expensive. Um, but we managed to get this one for £30. Now, it was from eBay. It was... Brand new. It was... Well, it was brand new. Yeah. It was it was sold on eBay, not brand new. Someone had brought it but never used it, I think. I think so. It was yeah. in the box and the, the, um, the plug was still coiled up and uh, tied up with a cable tie. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they they do normally go for sort of sixty, seventy, eighty pounds upwards for a used one. Um, I the only reason I think it was cheap is because it was listed in the wrong category. I can't remember what category it was in. It was like wagons or something like that, rather than controllers. And also they spelt Gauge Master wrong. Um, so if you were searching for Gauge Master controller, that wouldn't show up in a search. And so we managed to bag it as the only bid for twenty nine ninety nine. Absolute bargain. Yep, a great controller. And we actually got this because my original controller started breaking. It started short circuiting when there was no pieces of metal crossing the two tracks, and it is now in the loft for emergencies. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful because honestly, model railways is definitely, as Daddy said, becoming a very expensive hobby. And whilst all that backman and Good Hornby is amazing, and from my experience with having a couple of these locomotives and pieces of rolling stock, they are very good. They're very expensive, and you know if you know if you ever want to come. And the thing is, we only want to run our layout on D on DC and not DCC. And if you have a DCC layout, this most of a lot of older locomotives won't run um, because they, you know, you'd have to do all the decoder and that. It's difficult, but I do think that for our layout, we've got some great bargains. It shows that if you shop around and know the right places to look, model railways can be a decently cheap hobby. If you're a beginner and you've found my channel, I'm very thankful for it. And I hope this video has been useful to you. Hope you've enjoyed. Bye.